We spoke to a homeowner today whose house was flooded, caused by the storm surge from Hurricane Ian. This is a look at Vanderbilt Beach. It is littered with debris, broken trees, trash cans, and all sorts of trash. Chad Sonkis shared the photos in his cell phone. Hurricane Ian turned his Naples neighborhood into a raging river. By Wednesday afternoon, he knew it was time to go. You can prepare for a hurricane, I'd say. You can get shutters and generators and AC units, but you can't prepare for a flood. You just have to leave. Hurricane Ian tossed boats around like toys. The once sandy white beaches of Vanderbilt Beach now littered with people's belongings. We have security cameras on the property, so we are watching the cameras from home. Uh, as the storm was coming in until the power went out and uh, we saw the surge come up. Mick Moore is third generation owner of the Vanderbilt Beach Resort. When he turned an old shuffleboard court at the resort into a restaurant years ago, the county required him to put in breakaway walls, a buffer to the constant slamming of waves during a storm. This wall is a perfect example. This is wood. There was a window here. It's all wood. There's no concrete in there. They're stuck on the outside. It's designed to break away. This one was the same. I am standing in what used to be the swimming pool here at Vanderbilt Beach Resort. This part of the pool was nearly five feet deep, and it now looks like part of the beach with sand and shells. Moore has every intention to clean up, rebuild, and reopen. We've known this was a possibility for years. Obviously, no one ever wants it to happen, but we'll we're planning on cleaning up. We discovered an old newspaper clipping scattered among broken beach chairs. It is proof that Mother Nature will never destroy a memory. In Naples, Julie Salmon, ABC Action News. And with so much damage that you are seeing, the flooding, the power outages, we know many people want to know how they can help people in need. So we are launching a new initiative, ABC Action News Gives, to make it easy for you to donate and make a difference. Just go to abcactionnews.com slash gives or text the word Ian to 50155 to donate any amount that you can. You can also scan the QR code right there on your screen. And we'll be back right after this.